Yo, let's go and welcome to the video with less than a week until the launch of Wrath. I wanted to show you what I have prepared to help me level and what I'm going to be doing these last couple of days to be as ready as I can. So starting off with my bank, I've got plenty of repair bots in case I'm AoE grinding out in the open world or if I'm spamming dungeons, I can drop these for myself or the group. So we don't have to keep going back into town. We can vendor, repair, and keep running and spamming those dungeons. Got a fair amount of super mana potions. Having these to use on trash, if you're really pumping those dungeons out, is going to help you out. I was popping these on cooldown on the beta, and between that and a three minute innervate, I was able to spam Hurricane on almost every single trash pack and not have to worry about going oom um and lagging behind, sitting and drinking. So I've got 24 of the actual flasks that were crafted by an alchemist, not the ones that you can use from the marks of the Illidari. You won't be able to use these to level, they're only available for the raids. So I've been slowly collecting herbs to help me not have to buy flask off the auction house, but they are pretty cheap right now. But I wanted to have at least 50 or 60 flasks ready to go, so I'm not quite there yet. And then I've also got some blessed wizard oil in case I'm grinding on some undead mobs. There's certain places that these will really help. And I've always been a fan of the superior wizard oil, so I'll have a couple of stacks of these made. I haven't made those yet. And along with those, I'll have plenty of food. I think 60 or maybe 80, so like three or four stacks should be enough. And then there's some fish that give better stats then our current TBC food should be able to get the next upgraded food pretty early on. While you're leveling or, you know, once you get to 80, you can start doing some fishing stuff and get a better spell power food to knock out your heroics. And other than that, I did get my 25,000 gold ready. One thing I just finished doing last night was getting exalted with Thunder Bluff so that I can buy the new water at its cheapest price. So I'll be buying stacks and stacks of the level 70 water, mailing it to myself so I don't have to keep going back to Thunder Bluff to buy more. And anytime I need more, I can get to a mailbox and take out a couple extra stacks. As far as my professions go, I am an enchanter and engineer currently. I will hold on to enchanting up until 80 and disenchant all the greens and stuff while I'm leveling and doing dungeons. Just in case nobody else in the group is an enchanter, if I do do some dungeons, I can disenchant the blues, put them in the guild bank, keep them for myself, <laughs> sell them on the auction house, whatever I want to do with the enchanting mats. And then I'll drop that for tailoring. That's the second profession I'm going to have with engineering. And I do have engineering max to 375. I've heard a lot of people say, you know, as long as you get to 350, you're fine. I really would suggest getting to 375 if you can, if you have the time or if you have some mat laying around in your bank or on an alt or farm some mats for yourself. The way to get from 360 to 375 and why I have so many repair bots is that's what you can do for those 15 levels. It took a little extra, like I think I ended up making 18 repair bots to get the 15 levels, but that's going to be 25 less levels I have to spend all of the new mats on to level up my engineering especially that first week those mats are going to be expensive on the auction house and hard to farm in the open world i've got my cooking all the way maxed out i mean every single secondary profession first aid i'm not too worried with but fishing i have 375 i want to be doing those cooking and fishing dailies once i'm at level 80. there's some really good things from both of those professions and they could also just be used to make a little bit of extra gold i'm not quite honor capped yet i've been buying all of the pvp mounts i've got the kodo the raptor the wolf and the warhorse so there's one left that i could buy for 16k honor i think it is if i'm doing a lot more bgs in the next couple days maybe i'll buy that last one but if not i will be honor capped at 75k one nice thing is there could be an immediate upgrade i think correct me if i'm wrong that the hateful gladiators cloaks will be out before the first raid lockout comes maybe not right at 80 I haven't done my research all the way on this, so sorry if this is incorrect, but I have the Cloak of the Illidari Council, and this is available right at 80. It's a pretty decent upgrade to have. And according to 80 upgrades, it's going to be 38,000 honor. As soon as I ding level 80, I can buy this cloak, have an upgrade. Also, as soon as I hit level 80, buy the Signet of the Kirin Tor. So other than getting a little bit more of each of those consumes that I'm 
a little bit low on and I'd like to have more of. Something else I need to do is finally get the minor glyphs and major glyphs set up for the spec that I want to run and even go ahead and respec from my rating talents to my leveling spec. Other than doing some farming these next couple days, I think I am prepped and ready to go. If there's anything else that you're working on prep-wise or that you have done already, let everybody else know in the comments. And I'll see you in Northrend.